Sergei Ponomarenko. They have waited a long time for their shot at Olympic gold. The people of the Russian Republic know about waiting in line. Russian ice dancers also know about waiting their turn. Marina Klimova and Sergei Ponomarenko have waited 10 years for Alberville and the one Olympic medal they don't have. We won a silver medal in Calgary and bronze in Sarajevo, and we just need gold in France. And going into the pre-Olympic year, Marina and Sergei seemed right on course. After all, their compatriots, Bestemianova and Bukin, were the only ones between them and the gold in Calgary. B&B retired, and K&P became world champions in 1989 and 1990. But 1991 became the year they'd like to forget. It was a very hard season. It's, I can't explain it, maybe you don't understand, but for us it was like 10 seasons. The year started and ended with their biggest problem, their coach, Natalia Dubova. She's a very good coach, but uh, we think that She's um, too conservative. They always negative. They are young. We feel that um, she she will not happy if we win this year. Marina and Sergei they know ice very well, but they don't work hard. Their relationship with Dubova and their season bottomed out in Sofia, Bulgaria at the 1991 European Championships. Marina tested positive for steroids, which would have meant an automatic two-year suspension, but a second test at another facility came up negative, and Marina was cleared. I had no idea of the things of which I was accused. We was very shocked about it, and Natalia didn't help us. And we can't uh, continue to skate with the coach which didn't believe us. After three weeks of lost training time during the drug scandal, Marina and Sergei stumbled a bit in their quest for a third straight world championship. The Duchesnais of France won, and suddenly the favorites for Alberville were French, not Russian. They are French. They lived in Canada, they train in Germany. And her husband, Christopher Dean, is English. So the whole of Europe is on their side. Working through the cloud of their 1991 season was the only way they knew to prepare for the Olympic year. Their training time was spent trying to update their style. Choreographer Shanti Rushpal found that changing K&P from classic ice dancers to more contemporary skating artists was relatively easy. They have a classical base and they can do anything. They can do character dance, they can do classical, they can do neoclassic, they can do modern. Modern, it's like the pop art. You can paint or you can skate the things that just you can feel. Their interest in a pop art approach to ice dancing may help them back to the front of the medal line in Alberville. They will have to get past their season of turmoil first. Marina Klimova and Sergei Ponomarenko have learned that in their country and their sport, sometimes turning away from the past is the first step to the future. Sergei and Marina quite anxious to get on the ice. Christy Yamaguchi took to the ice today. And when we come back, Scott Hamilton joins me for a look at the ladies' competition.